everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back in another video. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Um, I know I don't have a face cam for this video because I am just wanting to talk and enjoy my voice, I guess. Um, <laughs> so, before we start this video, um, if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. It means so much to me, everybody. Um, we are super close to 21,000, which is amazing. And I can't wait till we hit 30,000 and uh, see how what we get done in this summer. Um, also, if you want, join the Discord because we're almost at 2,000 members, um, which is amazing. And we do help out a lot of people in there. It's a great way to talk to people and also get a job if you want. So, welcome back to another scripting tutorial. Now, this is going to be on if statements. Um, if statements are used to check if a condition is true. They basically allow a script to perform certain actions when a condition is met. Um, and it'll just, like, run a block of code um, until it's true. Now, um... If the condition is true, then you'll be able to do whatever you want, and that means just basically anything inside of the if statement, so that's pretty nice. But, um, yeah, so let's actually hop right into this. Alright, so we are actually going to be doing a, um, we could do a server script, we're just going to do a server script because why not? Now, we can also do local scripts, this is pretty easy, but, um, we're going to be talking about variables, functions, but now we're going to be going over the if statement. Now, if you haven't watched those videos, feel free to go watch them because they will leave you a, um, big gap on, like, what you're, you know what you're doing. So, um, yeah. So, we are going to be doing a few things. We are going to be creating a, um, just while we, you know, use a variable, why don't we just do num equals, uh, 2, and then local num2 equals 5. Okay. So, if, um, num plus num2, like this, equals, equals, and then you could just put uh, five. Sorry, we're going to do this like this. Sorry, guys. Then this is what we're going to get out. Now, um, there is something called operators. So operators are basically the way to tell if something is less than or greater to. Um, and there's a lot of ways of doing this. So I'm going to actually show you all examples. So this is less than. Um, basically, if let's actually do something more simple. Okay, so this is... Uh, let's do one and one. Okay, so if we do uh, one plus one right here, is it less than five? Um, yeah, so it's basically going to say true. That's going to return true. Now, if we do this, is it greater than five? No, it's not. So that's going to return false. Now, there is lo there is greater, less than or equal to, which basically checks if it is equal to five or is, uh, you know, less than five. Um, there is also this one, so if it's equal to 5 or bigger than, which would turn false because, you know, it's still not uh, over 5 or equal to it. Um, and then there is equal equal, and then there is uh, does not equal. So this does not equal 5, which we will return true, basically all that kind of stuff. Now, we could do a lot of stuff right here. So if we do this, if we do this right here, and we do, um, we're going to be able to check, okay, okay? Uh, if it is equal or not so we can do print we got here we can say this is equal to five um, and then we can do a lot of other stuff so with these if statements there are else if statements now else ifs are basically going to check if the first one is not valid if the first one is not valid then it will basically do that uh, the next one which is going to be this one right here so we'll do uh, num1 plus num2 equal equals uh now we're going to check if it equals two then you do that and it's going to look like this now we're going to do else and we're going to go right here and we're going to go print and say none of these are correct um and then we can go right here and we can do uh two yeah this is correct whatever so um you basically are able to tell like what is um happening or not you're you're going to go through these so we're actually just going to run it real quick and i'll show you what i mean um so this is correct as in saying num1 plus num2 equals two so that is correct because yes one plus one equals two now if we were to do this right here um if we were to make it five again um it's not going to be true because you know this this does not oh, well that's a repeat we don't need that that does not equal that so we have else right here so how i can really easily explain this is when you make an if statement um i'll just go like that or something i'll just say if five plus five equals two 
Um, basically, oh, sorry, equals equals. Basically, you're going to run something right here. If that is not meant to true, you can do else. Now, in these if statements, you don't need else all the time. So that's not needed all the time, but it's most likely needed if you want to print something or check anything. And then you can add another statement just in case if this one doesn't work. So it's kind of another way of saying that. Now, um, there isn't too much of doing this, but one thing we can really use that was pretty nice, we're going to go through and create a uh, simple little thing that we will uh, be using here. So game and then, sorry guys, get service players. What we are going to do is, we talked about this in our last video, so game.players.player added connect function. Oh, and then we are going to do player, da 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 da. We are going to do if player dot name equals equals and then this is using a string twin plays dev then we will go here and print and we will say he is twin or whatever you know might as well um, and then if it is not then we would you know you could just do anything you could say he is not twin um, so this is kind of talking about when we did my overheads so like basically right here we check if we were twin and if we are then you know we did something to them um, and if you aren't the owner then you'd basically go on to the normal stuff so if we hit run um, or actually sorry this is player dot added so I actually need to hit play to play the game um, we're gonna check if I am in the game or not so if statements are actually pretty easy there is nothing too much so as you can tell printed he is twin so that's really nice um, but like I said they are pretty easy nothing too crazy just um, it basically just goes over uh, a condition that needs to be met to true or not um, but yeah, so I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. Just a little simple one. Um, you can go really in depth with these. Um, but I recommend going check out my overhead videos because they do help you explain a little, it helps explain a little bit more about that. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. I got a lot more coming and they are going to be really cool and you're going to love them. Um, cause they are something that people have wanted for a while. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit here. Thank you very much. Uh, peace out everybody. Bye-bye.